everyone, and happy Tuesday. Kristen Seaholm here of the KS Experience, where I aim to alleviate pain points for businesses. Today, I want to tell you all about a business strategy that will ensure you are always relevant and always top of your game. This strategy is called Garvin's Eight Dimensions of Quality and was created by David A. Garvin, a Harvard Business School professor and thought leader in the area of organizational learning. Back in 1987, Garvin created this framework to strategically categorize characteristics of quality in order to then analyze and enhance your product or service. These eight dimensions are performance, features, reliability, conformance, durability, serviceability, aesthetics, and perceived quality. According to Garvin, it's important to note that a product or service can rank high in one dimension while ranking low on another, or at the expense of another. It is in that way that strategic management is possible so that we can pick and choose which dimensions to focus on. So let's take a closer look at each one of these qualities. Performance. Most consumers judge a product based on its performance. This is the primary operating characteristic of a product or service, as well as how efficient it is in performing its intended purpose. Ranking brands on these attributes is easy since they involve measurable attributes. In hospitality, performance is often judged in terms of timely and courteous service. However, developing overall performance rankings is more difficult as a product may involve benefits that are important for one market segment but not necessarily the other. Additionally, each benefit then weighs differently per consumer. Features. Features are seen as the supporting characteristics to the basic performance product or service. With that, it's often difficult for a feature to stand alone from a performance as they are so intertwined. One key difference though, is that features will always involve objective and measurable attributes. Typically, consumers connect superior quality with having many options. However, in hospitality, that isn't necessarily the case. So you need to ensure that if you only have a limited number of features to offer, they all need to be the bells and whistles to stand above the rest. Reliability. Reliability is an incredibly important dimension of quality as it is the backbone of if someone is willing to invest in you or purchase your product. Reliability measures the likelihood that a product or service will fail or malfunction within a specified time period. And it is expected that the service or performance will be consistent during that time. For that reason, Garvin went ahead and highlighted three measurable attributes of reliability. One, the mean time to the first failure, two, the mean time between failures, and three, the failure rate per unit time. Reliability is a value that is often overlooked within the hospitality industry, where performance reigns supreme. However, they are completely dependent on each other, especially when the cost of fixing an issue arises. Essentially, reliability addresses the probability that the product will work without interruption or fail. Conformance. Conformance is the ability to meet established standards through the design, performance, and features of a product or service. In other words, how well you or your product live up to the specifications that you sold. Durability. This is the measure of product life, and it is important to note that there are both technical and economical dimensions to keep in mind. Technically, durability can be measured by the amount of use you get from a product before it deteriorates. Economically, durability is measured by the number of uses you get from a product before it breaks, and you decide that replacement is a better solution than continued repair. In hospitality, durability could be measured by how your services or products are holding up against the event or project and the intended guest experience. Serviceability. Simply put, this is the ease of service when a fix is needed. This is where promptness, courtesy, 
and competence also matter. Essentially, how you handle an issue or complaint will have a large impact on your overall serviceability and in turn, reliability. Whether it be something physically breaking, a break from the original plan, a break in communication, a client's concern will be that actually taking place. And if so, how long will it take to fix it? Others' concerns could then include how often there are issues and how quickly they are resolved. Aesthetics. Aesthetics are going to be incredibly subjective and based off the individual's personal judgment and preference of your product or service. This takes place through senses such as look, feel, sound, smell, taste, and so on. Therefore, it is important that you find your niche or story brand to ensure you are targeting your desired market. If you haven't yet already, this would be a great time to check out one of my last Task Tuesday videos, The Brand Pyramid, to see how it all ties together. Perceived quality. Perceived quality is found through indirect measurable attributes, such as your reputation. In this dimension, imagery, marketing, branding, advertising, all play a key role. Again, this is also where the brand pyramid would come in handy, in handy for auditing yourself. To remain competitive in the market, it is imperative that we always be improving the quality of our products and services. Otherwise, we run the risk of being a, becoming a commodity. Furthermore, to constantly be improving the quality of our products takes dedication and continued focus on that quality improvement. Garvin's Eight Dimensions of Quality is a great strategic tool to help you do just that. As always, I'd love to hear if this was found helpful for you, so definitely drop a line in the comments. And for those that want to level up and tackle the eight dimensions together, shoot me a message and let's see where we need to strategically be focusing your efforts in order to improve and evolve equality in your product or service. Thanks again for tuning in. I hope you have a great rest of your week and I'll see you next time.